I almost thought I would accidentally fall asleep in the middle of the movie. Looks like I made it after all. <laughs> of course I could fall asleep with the TV blasting and sitting in your lap. Sleeping in less than ideal situations is my expertise. Not that your lap is less than ideal. It's very ideal. <laughs> yes, the most ideal. Let me go, baby. <laughs> I know you don't want to, but I need to check my phone real quick. Okay, fine. You reach and grab it for me then. Thank you. Oh shit, it's late. I didn't even realize. And it started raining outside too. Um, are you still going to go home? Well, I, I mean, if you wanted to, you could stay the night here with me. We've been dating for a while, and I wouldn't mind if you stayed here with me. B but that's only if you want to. If you need to get back home or don't feel comfortable staying over, then you can go ahead and go home. You want to stay? <laughs> okay, that sounds good to me. Oh, I feel a little giddy. Well, I've never had a boyfriend sleep over before. No, I haven't. You know me, baby. It takes me a while to let people into my safe space. You're like a VIP. In my very mediocre home. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing special. It's small and quaint. But it's on my own. Anyway, since everything is settled, we should get ready for bed, right? Right. Let me get off of you. Come on, you have to get ready for bed too. I'm sure that I have something you can wear. I mean, I have a small collection of comfort clothes I low-key stole from you. <laughs> Cross my heart, I meant to return them, but I wanted to wash them before I just dropped them off. Let me look for them. They're probably in my laundry basket waiting to be folded. See? I have this hoodie and a pair of your sweatpants. Here, take them. Huh? Why do I have your sweatpants? Uh, remember when we were on our way to your place, but the weather decided it would be a wonderful day to absolutely drench us? I didn't have anything to change into, so you let me use a hoodie and a pair of your sweatpants. Like I said before, I washed them for you, so they're all clean and you can use them. If you want, you can use my bathroom, so you... Or you can just take your shirt off here. Well, no, I don't particularly mind. It was just... unexpected. So what if I'm blushing? Wouldn't it be stranger if I didn't react? Baby, what are you up to? Clearly you're up to something. Uh-huh. You must be. Something devious. Up? <laughs> now that you've had your fun, you should go ahead and change your clothes. I'll be in my bedroom when you're done, okay? See you in a bit. 
and then I'm going to do this, and then we're going to move along the pillow. This is going to be in the way. Get all these decorative pillows off. Oh, you're done. Welcome to my bedroom, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say, I mean, it has a bed. Uh, of course it does, that's the point of the room. <sighs> so, um, did you want to sleep somewhere else? Like my couch, or with me? If you want to, you can sleep here with me, on the bed. But I, I need you to know that nothing intimate is going to happen. I'm, I'm not ready for something like that right now. So, um, baby, <laughs> where do you want to sleep? With me? Okay. I don't really have a side I sleep on, so... You can pick first, I suppose. Who or who? Oh! <laughs> Those are my stuffed animals. I might be fully grown, but I still sleep with stuffed animals. <laughs> Embarrassing, right? Um, this is one of my oldest stuffed animals. He's a sweet little golden bunny. I got him when I was so young I couldn't even name him properly. So his name is just Bun Bun. He's lost a lot of stuffing throughout the years. Someday I'll fix him up. Make him ride his rain. And this blue dragon is just a stuffed animal I accidentally stole from my younger sister. <laughs> Shut up. I don't steal from everyone. See, what happened was that months ago, she came here with my parents to visit. We have a major age difference, so she's still at the age where she needs an entire horde of them to sleep with. While she was leaving, she forgot this little guy here. When I realized it, it was too late for them to turn around and get him. So now I just have a little blue dragon named Devalwyn sitting on my bed. I'll put them away if you think they're stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You don't think they're stupid. Ready for bed? Come here, then. Let me pull the covers over you. There. What? Oh, of course we can. I'd love to get all snuggled up. How do you want to snuggle? Spooning? Uh, okay. So, I lay like this, right? And you wrap your arms around me? Do you want to hold my hand? Uh, are you nervous? <laughs> There's no need to be nervous. Well, yeah, of course I'm nervous too, but I I'm trying to be comforting. I suppose it isn't working, though. <sighs> well, if we're just equally as nervous as each other, then we don't really have a good reason to be nervous. How about we just tell each other what we're nervous about? If we do that, then everything will be out there, and we won't have to be nervous anymore. I'll go first if you want. Um, I'm mostly nervous because I've never done this before. And I mean, it should be self-explanatory, but I don't know. In my head, my mind is just like, what if I'm laying down wrong? <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but hear me out. I meant like, what if I lay down on your arm weird, and then like halfway through the night, you have like to deal with your arm going to sleep? Or what if my ass is like, problematic? <laughs> don't fake innocence. I don't have to have done this before to know that it can be a problem. Uh, no, of course I'm not going to move around on purpose. I'm not a pervert, you pervert. Now that I've embarrassed myself, it's your turn. Oh yeah, buddy. If I'm going to admit that I'm worried about my ass brushing against your dick, then you have to fess up about something too. Come on.
come on. You can't just back out of it. And that's unfair. <laughs> I swear I'm not laughing at you. It's just we're freaking out over the same things. If we smell fine, where we place our hands, and all the more intimate matters. Well, I can assure you that you won't have to worry about whether or not I'm wearing a bra, as long as your hands stay on my tummy. <laughs> if you accidentally touch my boobs, I'm not going to get mad. No, I'm not. And if you get, a uh, morning wood, then I'll just avert my eyes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Give you privacy, maybe? Okay, I'll stop talking about it. At least we're not as nervous anymore. At least I'm not. Not sure about you. See, I told you it would work. Huh? Yeah, you're right. We should try to go to sleep. Hey, baby, I just wanted you to know that I really care about you. I care about you a lot. Yeah, I know you care about me too. I, I guess I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> of course we're having breakfast together tomorrow. If we didn't, it would be a crime. What do you want? Like waffles or something? I always have the ingredients on hand because sometimes a girl just wants to spontaneously eat breakfast even when the timing's wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's me, all right. You know you're with me for a reason. <laughs> One of many reasons. Good night, baby. I can't wait to spend more time with you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>